Hello, hello, this is KMB Comer, and welcome to episode 53, yeah, 53 of KMB Comer Plays Minecraft, and I am here leaving the uh, peaceful switch on because, well, you know, it's really nice having it on, I'll tell you why. It's not because I don't have to fight mobs, although that, that does help when I'm digging down in my mine shaft. But really, the biggest reason I'm liking it right now is it means I don't have Endermen spawning around here, and it means they are not destroying the landscape. Um, so that is so nice, because I hate the damage they've done to this place. Uh, it just, I don't know, you look at it, you see these little holes everywhere, and they're not big things, but, oh man, like, hmm. They, they just bother me. They look crappy. <laughs> so no Enderman. It's nice. It's really nice. But uh, in today's episode, I am first heading out past Biff's place. Uh, we'll take a look at his giant hole. But there's a reason... Oh, hey. There's a reason I'm going out there. And that's because out near his place, I went uh, exploring just a little bit. And I found something that I was unable to find in those two plains biomes where I found 150 horses or whatever where uh, we did not get a single donkey and now near his place which is a lot closer than where we found those horses I have found some donkeys um, no horses just a small pack of donkeys in entire plains so I'm gonna head out there we're gonna grab those and we're gonna head back to the base and uh, work on tidying up a couple projects and then uh, we'll see what else we could do today so uh, let's go get those donkeys alright we're here at Biff's place and uh, this hole's coming along <laughs> he's got a long ways to go he wants to make this like uh, oh about 200 by 200 so it's coming but <laughs> that's kinda funny huh. interesting uh, yeah, he's making some good progress. Um, there's not a lot else to show around here. He's got chests and chests full of stuff he's dug out of the hole, and he's got his horse in a uh, his horse is in an inescapable prison. Um, I guess he doesn't like this horse very much. Anyways, let's get on to the donkeys. So I don't exactly remember the way, but it's uh, somewhere over here. Um, I went through this forest for sure. I'll just burn all my ender pearls trying to find my way there. Um, hmm, let's see. I think I think I just kept going this way, but uh, I just wanted to talk about a couple things briefly while we're making the journey here. Um, so uh, I might have seen. I, I guess I've got some people here that have uh, subscribed. Um, they came and saw my automatic stable, um, got referred by the Minecraft Monday show, and, uh, oh no, the server's restarting. And Anderzel, so welcome, new subscribers, uh, glad you found my channel, I really enjoy doing this LP, and I think you guys, uh, might get some entertainment out of it, so, hope you keep watching, but, um, man, I'm, I might have to cut here, because this, uh, server restart's gonna cut into things. Yeah, well, I'll do that. We'll be back in a second. Okay, the server's back up, and things are about to get a little interesting. Uh, I made the journey out to the plains, and because the server restarted, uh, it turned the peaceful switch to off. So now I'm going to have to fight. That's all right, though. Um, so here's the plains. It's a big plains, not a horse in sight anywhere. And... Wait, did I look? I didn't look. Hey, leave me alone. Good thing I, uh... Oh, man. There's a lot of zombies. More behind me? Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. That's alright, I can handle it. Uh, but right over here, which is the direction I came from, you can see the little enclosure I made there. Got, uh... Got a small family of donkeys, and I got a couple in there just to make sure they didn't they didn't uh, escape. We got two here, one baby here. 
uh, zombies and creepers and uh, one more there and there should be one more lurking around here somewhere but uh, I only want to take back two that's all I really need so we're gonna take back wait yeah that's the baby we're gonna take back two um, that's all I need for breeding and oh there's the last one uh, so we want the two that have the most hearts we got this one with 11 I believe he's second most and this guy down here yeah 13 so these are the two we want so it's a matter of getting them uh, leashed up and dragging them all the way back we gotta go through this snow biome yeah we'll take these two and you know what we'll take the baby too because I don't know how many hearts he has even it could be superior to either of these adults so yeah we'll bring these three why not except is he gonna come let's go oh geez he's in the water oh a skeleton okay come on come on little guy come on come on all right let's go so we're headed back this way uh, it's it's a bit further than I thought to get back there but um <laughs> I guess I won't show the whole journey it's uh it's pretty far but this is kind of interesting some weird terrain generation here we got these like sandbars uh, connecting out to this uh, I don't even know what would you call this uh, did I do that yeah I guess I did oh did we lose one? Oh, this is difficult where did he uh, unleash there he is okay um yeah maybe I'll, I'll drag these guys back off camera because this could take a while uh, and then we'll we'll work on some new projects maybe get this baby up to full health and uh, see how he's doing so yeah I'll be back okay here's an update on getting the uh, donkeys home I've made it exactly zero meters or whatever you want to say I've, I've made it nowhere since uh, since I cut um, I'm sitting here like an idiot trying to grow wheat to grow this this baby donkey up which you know he's getting there he's not quite there yet I can't ride him but uh, wheat why would I do that when you could just use sugar instead so that should I hope yeah he's all the way there and he's a 12 harder so it was a good decision but um <laughs> I d he just would not go up one block like I couldn't I couldn't drag him so uh I don't know I just uh <laughs> I had to to grow him up first I I got to here and I couldn't get him up here he would not make that one block step up so what just happened okay we're good so yeah I had to uh, had to grow them up before we continued so we're going this way and we're still going this way and uh, headed home now and hopefully this doesn't take all damn night but uh, alright now I'm gonna cut again and, and next time we'll be back home you know I thought that the uh, the hopper chains going all the way down the line out to where the skeletons are were unnecessary but uh, well not hopper chains but hopper combos on chunk borders but I think they actually were necessary to keep this on all the time as long as uh, the lights lit and I'll tell you why I think that um, it seems like anytime I log off or you know leave the area and then uh, come back it'll be turned off and well not turned off but uh, it won't be working anymore until I kinda cycle it and I think that's because every time I was coming back into the area when the hopper the, ch the hoppers on the chunk borders were uh, active it was kind of loading them starting here because you know I'd load I'd load this first chunk, they were on the, uh, a close chunk border, and then uh, they'd kind of chain load each other all the way along, so 
I think I'm gonna have to put those back, but uh, it's on now. We should see all the mobs around here despawning, and I got the donkeys back here, so uh, we're good. We got a couple donkeys. I want to do a breeding of them right now, so that uh, kind of got a backup. Um, so we have 12 hearts and 13. There's a pretty good chance I think that we can get uh, a better one and we don't know if those are actually 12 and 13 or not I could take them over to the uh, the test area and we could test them I will actually do that why don't we grab a saddle here um, <laughs> yeah let's grab a saddle where are they oh my god oh there's a carrot <laughs> Uh, a couple more of those, or one more, as the case may be. Hey, there's a saddle, okay. Take one of those, and I think... Here? Carrots? Carrots? No? No carrots? There's some gold nuggets, could use those. I gotta have another carrot around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. You see how badly I need a storage room? I'm still working on it, guys. Uh, it's coming. Oh. Mmm, you guys saw that, I think. I had a carrot already. Oh, and I need one more gold nugget. Let's just make uh, make one real quick. Yeah, I'm still working on the, the storage room concept. Oh, I guess we'll make an extra. Um, it's coming along really well. I want to kind of pre-build the whole thing in creative because I just don't know. Um, I don't know how everything's gonna work out and I I really feel like I need to do a, a pre-build so I think the reason I just went based on health with these is I think they're all the same speed but now that I see this guy I'm not so sure he's pretty slow uh, I, th I think they're, they're supposed to all be the same speed and same jump height and only vary in their health but we can test him we can test uh, his uh, his jump height, but let's see. So he's supposed to be 13 hearts. He could be 13 and a half. It looks like he is. And he shouldn't be able to jump this. Uh, well, can't get a perfect jump. Okay, there we go. And he should, he should be one and a half, uh, one and a half blocks for jump height, I think. If not, well, uh, well, there goes that theory, but Let's see, we're at one and a half now. That means he shouldn't make this. And he did. Okay. Maybe they're not exactly one and a half. <laughs> 1.625? Er, 13 and a half hearts. Let's test his speed. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but we'll test this guy against the other one. So. Here we go. Um. Let's see, how fast would they be? It's. Let's take a guess. I'm going to guess that he's going to do the run in about 14 seconds. We'll check that. So, 64, that's uh, 12.8, 13.2, 13 13.2 seconds. Uh, so that's not so bad in meters per second. What did I say? 13.2, 100, divided by 13.2. So it's about 7.6 meters per second, which makes sense. And uh, yeah, let's let's test the other one real quick. Or, or I guess I'll do it off camera, and then we'll do one breeding and see how we do with the resulting donkey. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is the uh, baby donkey here. We're testing his hearts. 12 and a half it looks like his jump uh, both the parent donkeys ended up performing exactly the same in the jump and speed test so this guy should make it over here yep and his speed should come out to 13.2 as well so we'll test that really quick and so it does look like I don't know, it's a very small sample size, but having three identical would be rather coincidental with how many different uh, permutations there can be with the uh, the health and... Ooh, really? 
Could he be faster? That doesn't sound right. Let's test him again, but, uh... <laughs> I started talking there, and I may have been proven wrong before I finished my sentence. Let's try that again, but as I was saying, with how many different permutations there are of of different, uh, you know, health and jump numbers with the full growing horses, I would expect, if we saw three results the same, that that would be good enough to say that all, all donkeys are the same, but now it seems that this guy might be quicker. But uh, we'll give him another test. It is raining, which can cause a little bit of lag. I don't know if you can, can detect it there. Oh, you know what? It didn't reset before I ran again. It was not fully reset. It should have been the first run, though. Okay, try three. That's a bit of a flaw with this uh, this timer system. It's not really a problem because I would be unlikely to be running a horse twice in quick succession if I was actually testing one but uh, that result seemed inconsistent so we went for the run again but I, I, I assume when I'm you know actually testing horses that uh, we should not have a problem with reset times but uh, we'll give this guy one more go here and what are we gonna see we are going to see... Wow, he is faster. That's... Very, very surprising to me. Hmm. I did not know that was possible. I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that it's bred. I'm not too sure, but... Uh, very interesting. Very interesting. It's something to explore in the future, but... I think I've had enough of these donkeys today. They're, uh... They're not good for a whole lot. They're good for hauling stuff, but beyond that, uh, I don't have a lot of use for them. So we'll put this guy away, and what I want to go do is head out to the ice tray that I built last time. And I'm going to finish it off, uh, you know, aesthetically, uh, you know, put uh, finishing touches on it here and there, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you over there. Well... I'm here out at the ice tray, and I'm just finishing up on um, this nice, I don't know, it's kind of got a log cabin feel to it, but it's, it's just a simple wooden building, enclosing it. And I'll have you know, all I had to do was cut down half the forest to construct it. So, it took a little while, but uh, yeah, just finishing up. So I got a nice lip on the outside here, so spiders won't be able to come in. The roof is just flat half slabs, so uh, nothing will spawn up there and jump down. Um, now, I wanted this door to face in, so I'm going to have to take this out. Don't go through the portal. Put one here, and then here, so we get the double door. Take that out, and then put it back there. There, now we have them facing in and we'll just put this uh yeah, little trim piece back and let's put some stairs uh yeah we'll just do that let's see this like so actually let's put a a small landing at the top nice to not uh have to go in a door directly at the top of some stairs oops okay like so and uh yeah as i was doing this building here um my phone started blowing up again it's been a fairly common occurrence lately uh just getting you know some more attention it's really nice uh this time it's from a uh french youtuber named uh a pierre i think i think it would be how you say it um so that's really cool i I, uh, I'm sorry to say I have not, well, I'm not familiar with his work, we'll say that, but uh, maybe I can be forgiven since he does uh, upload videos in French, and even though I'm Canadian, I'm sorry to say I am not fluent in French. Uh, so here's the inside here, let's just put one door back here, this will be for access to the utility area, actually let's do that the other way like so and we can put some glowstone back in here um 
so yeah he's a he's a big youtuber um got uh, like 360 or 370 i don't know a lot a lot of subs like 300 let's say 375,000 so uh getting some subscribers from there so welcome uh <laughs> this is kind of a an episode where i'm recognizing uh <laughs> all the shoutouts I've been getting lately, so thank you to everybody who's supporting me from those channels and uh, the the uh, YouTubers themselves that are giving me that support. So I think this is pretty much tied up here. Um, not a lot left. Yeah, I think this is good. I didn't. Um, I didn't really fully flesh out the uh, the back here. It's not really well lit. But uh, that's all right. But let's reverse this door. No, that's not gonna do it. Try this way. There we go. That way, if any, we'll take the the lazy way out. If any zombies spawn back in there, they won't be able to break down the door since it's uh it's backwards. But um, yeah, that'll work. And I wanted to show you one more feature of this before we left that I added after last episode. So. Uh, this line here is the one that goes from the comparator there all the way around to bring down the pistons when the um, pick is not in the dispenser or dropper. And then uh, I split that to go this way too. You can see it under there going kind of down and around. And uh, this goes over to here to this torch. That goes to this piston, which has this block in the way here. And what this does is if the... Uh, ooh, how do I get out now? Ah, one ender pearl left. If the... Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh no, okay, yeah. If the pick is not in the dropper, then it won't let us push the button to refill the thing. So we can uh, see it here in action. Got the MV Polar Star pistons down and if I break this and uh, well we, let's break let's break uh, a little more some along the back wall here if I only broke a part way and I still had the piss or the uh, the pick in my inventory I went to hit the button to refill it nothing happens because that block is down so it won't let you refill it unless the uh, the pick is put away. I suppose I could also add another uh, another piston that would um, kind of block off the nether portal and not let me in unless I uh, ooh hey I don't like that unless I had uh, put the put the pick away that could be something I can add but it's not that important um, oh geez now how do I get out of here it's not that important this is not um, a super key build to everything it's a uh, that's why I didn't spend too much time on the look. I mean, it looks nice enough, but uh, nothing super special. Um, I won't be here that often. It's just when I need some ice. So let's get this thing refilled. Put the MV Polar Star away. MV, by the way, stands for uh, Motor Vessel. It's a nautical term. I'll pretend like I know a lot about uh, a lot about stuff like that. And we'll, we'll close the door over here and um refill it oh hey interesting yeah i guess that would happen hmm oh yeah and of course i left the middle open air it gives this kind of cool courtyard feeling but it needs to be exposed to the sky for the ice to melt um hmm how can i fix this we need to power this door I think I don't have I need some cobble I need one piece of cobblestone let's see if this works I think if I just put a uh, a lever up above it powered it probably will not do that since the uh, the closed position is actually the open position since I put in the door backwards so this could actually work out very nicely. Let's uh, let's go give that a go real quick. Yeah, I think this is this is all looking good. All right, so put this right if I can get 
Mm-hmm. Okay. If we do that, yep, perfect. I think uh I think that should work. Let's go Oh, we can't really try it again because we'll lose a bunch of buckets of water, but yeah, I think that'll work. So got this buttoned up, which is good because I think I'm kind of notorious, well maybe not notorious, but I know in my own heart I'm really bad at starting projects and uh, leaving them mostly finished or you know partially done to the point where they're uh, they're functional but they don't look fantastic so that is done. The, uh, the ice tray is completely finished. I don't have it on the checklist but uh, that's alright. Maybe I'll add it or something. And, uh, yeah, so that's one project done. And I think next we'll be working on getting the equestrian center, the riding center, all finished up. So, uh, it's pretty much uh, cosmetics and getting the uh, horse pens in place. So, I'll start getting to work on that. Alright, well, I checked the time on the video, and surprise, surprise, we are running short. But uh, before we go, I wanted to show you guys a quick design. Um, so for this horse center, uh, what I wanted was some more compact stalls than I have in the stable over there uh, by the Calgary Tower. So I wanted to kind of incorporate some of the same design features I had in there but just uh, whoops wow good job good job me uh, just compacted down a little bit um, so basically what I did is I ripped out the uh, the water portion the uh, you know the part that shoots out the water to dismount you uh, and I was able to come up with a design that is quite a bit more compact without the dismount feature. Uh, and it's very, very similar to what I had before. So uh, here's what we are looking at. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's, it's something like this. So this is, this is kind of the entrance, what we were looking at with the, uh, the old system, the... Uh, the fully automated dismounting system and something like this and this was the uh, door opening mechanism so it was like uh, you know we brought some redstone just down like this I think that'll do it yeah so that opens the door when you're on the horse but the horse can't trigger it and that's that and uh, what I wanted to do was, oh, didn't need that piece, was to make it so I could kind of tile this, uh, so, you know, have another stall right here, right beside it, um, so let's build one of those real quick, and, yeah, so this is what we're looking like for the entrances to these stalls, oh, let's get these hooked up, Okay, we're good. So that's hooked up, that's hooked up, and, uh, you know, using the same, uh, the same principle, we'll just, uh, whoops, what have I done here? Oh, this is too close. Ooh, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> Move this over one. We'll get there. I got a point to this. Uh, so we're here. Yeah. Like this, and it'll be like this, and we'll get these hooks on here, like so. All right, and uh, well, I guess I gotta put the piston in too, and the redstone block, and we'll dig underneath, and we'll get the wire in there. Okay, so this is what we'd be looking at um, for side-by-side -side ones. Now, some of you have probably already seen the flaw. If I trigger this one, well, let's get rid of this so I can actually see it, maybe. Mm. There, you see? that They're both triggering. 
this one and that one because obviously we're using the uh, same the same block for the tripwire hooks but I came up with a way to fix this that uh, worked out really nice so we can uh, just show this solution real quick so I just tunneled all the way under there like that we'll put a block like that and uh, we're gonna chop this out temporarily yeah I think this is right no this isn't right we didn't need to chop that out I'm lower down than I thought uh, or yeah so we got that so that is uh, dust that will be triggered by the redstone block when it comes down now if we put a torch on the side here and then we come over here we do the same thing that'll get triggered by that coming down and then we have let's just get a look here we have the gate right there with the uh, whoops don't don't burn out okay we burned it out <laughs> the gate right there we'll put that dirt back under it and we put a uh, block here with the torch on it and then right there which is a uh, right underneath that torch put a redstone piece there we put one too and if I can get out of here now oh geez now now we have an end gate under there and what that means is even by triggering this string here I will not trigger this one sorry that's wrong I put the end gate under this one so if I trigger this it only triggers this gate you need an and gate under each one of these but uh yeah it just triggers the one that you trip it won't trigger this one so i'll be able to squeeze a lot of these semi auto stables in here um you know very close together side by side so that's the solution you just put uh the block with the dust down there and then you know torch either side and you just put an end gate with the torch right underneath the fence gate and then you can squeeze these real close together so I might make a you know a proper video on uh, how to do this it'll be really short I could post it to reddit or something and maybe uh, get a whole bunch more attention for that but probably not because it's nothing that special but I like it it's uh, it's pretty compact and I know you know I could compact it down by using one string and uh, having one space between the tripwire hooks but uh, I don't know I just I don't I don't want to do that I don't like the way it it, uh, it looks so we're going with this I like this design so that's what we're gonna do and uh, thanks very much for watching welcome to all the new viewers and I'll see you guys next time